hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel Asher Steve here signing for another tutorial today we will be looking at uh, how we can configure EIGRP protocol uh, this is a uh, Cisco proprietary protocol so without much further ado guys let's kick it so you can see this scenario which we have already uh, pulled some of the devices that we are going to configure so we are taking three routers and three switches and three pieces so uh, we have different networks out here the first router second router and the third router so uh, we will just give here our DIGRP configuration okay okay so we write this uh, EIGRP configuration so the first one we will start uh, giving the network is like uh, we will use here our IP address like uh, let's say 10 at 10 dot uh, 0 dot 0 okay then this one we will use uh, here 20 dot uh, 10 dot 0 dot 0 we can use here 30 dot uh, 20 dot 0 dot 0 and we can use here 40 dot 20 dot 0 dot 0 and here 50 dot 10 dot 0 dot 0 okay so that will be our different networks which we'll be using for this topology and in this uh, demonstrations that we are going to look up together so the first one will start uh, configuring the PC here the first PC so we go to the desktop and then uh, I will pull a little bit aside so that you can see both the configuration and the diagram so now we'll go and put, assign the IP address in the PC. So first PC we'll put 10 dot 10 dot 0 dot. I use this one as 2 and we will make this PC 1 as default. Okay, close. So now we go to this first interface ID and set the IP of this first router. So let's go to the first router and we'll go to the CLI. And then we go to the next and from here we will give enable to logging and we go to the config t from this config t now we will go and put the ip address of this first fa0 slash 0 interface ip address so int fa0 slash 0 and then ip address is 10.10.0.1 uh, .10 and then this subnet mass is 255.0.0.0 okay so no shut okay so the li first link is up now we go to the second interface which is fa0 slash 1 so interface fa0 slash 1 ip address is 4 0 20 dot oh, sorry 40 dot 20 dot 0 dot 0 uh, first one will be 1 so 255 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 okay no shot okay and then we go to the that is the first router we finish there we go to the second router we go to CLI and from here we go to the enable we go to the config T and then we'll set up the first uh, FA uh, Ethernet interface Ethernet uh, 1 slash 0 IP addresses 20.10.0.1 subnet must be 55.0.0.0 no shut okay and the next one is this IP address interface f is 0 slash 0 and then the IP address for this is uh, this is 40 dot 20 dot 0 dot 2 so here 40 dot 20 dot 0 dot 2 and the subnet mass is 255 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 okay no shut okay that the link is up now we go to this interface so interface fa0 slash 1 ip address as 
50.10.0.1 since this is the interface at this network is 50 so put that and let's put the second last to 55.0.0.0 and then we give here no shot okay so for this part the interface is IP set let's go to the third router in the third router go to the CLI again and we give no we go to the enable then we get to fig t again we go to the interface of this one that is interface f0 slash 0 ip address is uh, 50.10.0.2 since this is 1 we will put this as 2 so supply mass of 255.0.0.0 and then we give here no shot okay so the link is up and the last interface that is uh, int f0 slash 1 ip address is 30.20.0.1 something must be 55.0.0.0 no shot okay so now all the links are already up and then we have to set the PC's IP for this also here. So here PC IP should be 2010 range 2010.0.2 since we have a default of 1, 0 0.1. Okay, so this third PC IP address should be this IP. That means 3020 range 30.20.0.2. And subnet pass of 13.20.0.1 is the IP address of this. So now we can see all the of every device is set. Now we will start this EIGRP. And then the EIGRP, since uh, this is a uh, uh, Cisco proprietary, and that we have this uh, autonomous system which we will set here. So in short, I'm writing AS as autonomous system. Number we will put here as uh, 200. Okay. And for this router also, AS autonomous system should be 200. This yes, also. AS will be 200. So you can take any autonomous system from 1 to 65,535. So from there you can use any number but the number have to be same in all these routers okay so the first one we start go to the first router and then we go to the CLI once again we go to this exit and from here router EIGRP and we put in here the number system that is 200 okay now network so the first network we have is this 10 so let's put that 10.10.0.0 .10 that is our first network second network is this 40.20 so 40.20.0.0 second network okay so exit exit and we will just save this configuration running config and then start up start up config enter so we have saved that configuration so the first router configuration is over we go to the second router here we set again exit and now we start the EIGRP router EIGRP and 200 Adorma system and we put the network network is the first network is a 4020 40.20.0.0 the first network that is this network now you can see that the adjacent the new adjacent is up the link is up okay so let's put the second network that is this network or either this one we can put any one of this first so let's put the second 10.0.0 .0 .0. And the third network for this one is 5010. So 50.10.0.0. Okay. It's done. So exit. Exit.
that's it and then we will also save this configuration running config and then we start up config okay so we save successfully so far so good let's go to the third router so we give one time here exit and we give you a router the igrp and the autonomous system is 200 and the network for this network is 5010 so 50.10.0.0 okay so now the new adjacent link is up the second network we have is 3020 which means this network so here 30.20.0.0 okay right. exit exit and then we will save the configuration once again for this startup enter enter okay so now the configuration is completed so we will see now go to the pc3 and pin the pc1 so we go to the command chrome the pin command and this IP is 10.10.0.2 .10 so the first pin we are pinging this PC so the first request is always out and now you can see the second third is successful okay so let's try the second one here ping and this time the IP of this one should be 2010.0.2 0.2 for this PC since it's the first time it's taking a time out now the second time it's going through so now let's send the packet with this envelope to see and make sure it's successful yeah it's cool so now all the PCs are able to communicate with each other exchanging the advertisement the packet sending it to and fro so this is the configurations of eigrp so guys i hope this video has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you if you like this video please do like subscribe and share it so thank you and i see you in the next video bye bye